Country Independent Tony Windsor. His electorate of New England is next door to the Pilliga proposal and farmers in his electorate are also grappling with coal seam gas interest. Tony Windsor and fellow independent Rob Oakeshott were singled out at yesterday's No Carbon Tax rally too on the lawns of Parliament House. Tony Windsor, welcome back to breakfast. Oh, thanks, Fran. Starting with coal seam gas, the main concern from farmers appears to be their underground water supplies. As far as you're aware, can the coal seam gas industry give farmers guarantees about, about what will happen to their water in 50 or 100 years' time? Because John Anderson seemed prepared to do that just then. Well, I don't think they can. I think uh, even if you look at the last application uh, that took place in uh, Queensland, there were 300 conditions imposed on it uh, at the federal level. 300 conditions to allow, uh, I think it was Santos, to uh, go ahead with a, with a program up there. Now, if that doesn't indicate there's a, there's a problem in the process to start with, that you've got to put those conditions on, there were conditions put on the state level, which is the main arbiter in relation to this at a government level. So there are issues in terms of, uh, of process. And what a number of people have been arguing for is not against coal seam gas or, to that matter, coal either. It, it is that we need a process, particularly on the floodplains, particularly on those a very sensitive uh, prime agricultural land, particularly where there are underground aquifers, uh, that we need a process that's much better than the one we've got at the moment. Because well, the, the one the we've one got, we've got, the got moment, at the moment is a state process primarily. Um, should water supplies, should the nation's water supplies, underground water supplies, be in the hands of the state or should they be um, under uh, viewed as a Commonwealth resource? Is there more, more reason for the Commonwealth to be involved in, with this issue? Well, I think there is, and I think we're seeing that through the Murray-Darling arrangement. The six governments have come together because they believed that working apart uh, wasn't uh, a good thing for the whole. And I think exactly the same problems are going to raise their heads within the Murray-Darling, the floodplains that uh, that feed the Murray-Darling system, the potential to uh, interfere with uh, some of those groundwater systems, the potential to interfere even in terms of uh, road networks and things that have to be put in. Uh, if you start putting uh, coal seam gas uh, across some of these floodplains, there's a whole range of, of issues. There. The current process we have is a state-based one. It doesn't really take into account the potential off-site impacts if something goes wrong. The way we look at mining at the moment is you buy the 10,000 acres and you do what you like within it, and as long as you don't affect people outside you, it's, uh, it's an OK process. Well, you add water to that, uh, surface water and, uh, and groundwater, and you, you start to get off-site impacts or potential off-site impacts. And a lot of people are arguing, including myself, and I'll have a, a bill in this parliament next week that, that says essentially to slow the process down, to give the Commonwealth some input uh, through the um, Environmental uh, Biodiversity Act uh, to have some input as to the uh, impacts on water and potential. You know, John made an important point there. We do need to feed the nation. Uh, and I think there's, there's a collision point here between uh, the need for fossil fuels and energy and the need for food in the future. And if you don't know, if you don't know what the risks are of some of these activities on these very special lands, the Liverpool Plains, the Darling Downs, etc., you shouldn't go there until you do. And that's, that's all people are asking for is an appropriate process, not a rush. So your private member's bill would seek to get the Commonwealth more involved and water down or, or be prepared to override the state's powers if, uh, according to some triggers, which would include the water supply. Our federal politicians at the moment don't seem too interested in that. We had Tony Abbott, for instance, saying uh, for a while last week anyway that uh, farmers should have a right of veto over coal seam gas mining on their land. But then he backed away from that, reminding us that these were state <coughs> issues. The government also says these are state issues. Do you want to see, and are you talking to Tony Abbott and the government about getting more involved? Any sign they'll support your bill? Well, I get a, a, a test on this. Uh, the Coalition supported a similar bill back in 2008. And a lot of the problems in Queensland wouldn't have been, yeah, the hiatus that's occurring there now wouldn't have occurred. Uh, the uh, uh, amendment to the Water Act that I proposed back then actually got through the Senate with coalition support. And uh, if people read the, the speeches, there was great praise amongst themselves of how they uh, uh, saved uh, the Liverpool Plains and the Darling Downs. That night, uh, Mitch Hook from the Minerals Council invaded the premises and uh, the next morning, I think for the first time in political history, the, 
the uh, nationals and liberals recanted on their vote the night before. So the bill was then defeated. Now we have all this talk uh, by uh, you know, Senator Joyce, uh, Tony Abbott and others that uh, uh, they're going to be the saviours coming over the hill on this. Don't worry about it. Uh, so they will get a test. And so they should. I think that the total parliament and the government as well. I was with the Prime Minister yesterday. Uh, she knows, and I've had talks with her before on this issue. It was one of the issues that we raised at the formation of parliament. Of, of the uh, current government. Uh, and uh, so it's not a secret. The ministers know uh, the issue is out there, but I think it's important now that the, the population actually know what's going on. There, there are issues here. It's not about the extremes of banning certain activities. It's about having a process where those activities are, are properly scrutinised. We don't allow some activities in national parks, uh, Fran. Some people agree with that. Others don't. Tony Windsor, uh, can well, I just sorry? Can I just ask you briefly? We've only got thirty seconds. The news, but an important uh, issue in the Parliament this week: two bills related to cigarette plain packaging. The opposition is only going to support one of them. What will you do? Well, I support the plain packaging. I'll have to look at what the um, the second one is actually doing in terms of uh, trademarks, but. Uh, uh, I, there's no doubt I'll be supporting the blind packaging you know, legislation. All right, Tony Windsor, thanks so much for joining us again on Breakfast. Thanks, Fran. Tony Windsor is the independent MP for New England, and as you just heard, he's, on Monday he will introduce his private member's bill to give uh, boost Commonwealth involvement in coal seam gas exploration when it hits a couple of triggers, including impact on the water table.